this video tutorial is going to give you a quick overview of how to create an EverWeb widget using the new widget development tool. So here is our main screen. And as you can see, we need to enter a widget name. In this case, we're going to create a widget for adding anchor, anchor links to our EverWeb website. So we'll call this anchor widget. We'll leave it at version 1.0. And the minimum EverWeb version that it will work for is EverWeb 3.0. We'll quickly create an icon for this widget that will appear within EverWeb's widget tab. So I can simply drag and drop one of my a logo, and it appears there. Now I'll generate a background. and adjust my icon to how I like it. Next, we'll go to the widget settings tab. Here, you'll see a bunch of properties. Again, we need to set our plugin name, in this case, anchor widget. And the next two properties define how big the widget will appear when we drop it onto our EverWeb design canvas. In this case, I want it to be a little bit smaller. If you go to the bottom, you'll see that there is a description of each property. The HTML code property is the main functionality of the widget. Here, we enter in our HTML code that we want to appear on our website. So in this case, we want to create a anchor link. And we'll add some anchor text. And here's our basic code. Of course, we want the user to be able to edit the link that is entered by the widget. So we'll highlight what we want the user to change and click Create Quick Control. We'll select a control type, which is text field. We'll enter a variable name, and this has to be unique among all the controls. It is what will be entered into our HTML code, and then EverWeb will replace that with the user input of data. In this case, we'll give it a prefix and then give it a descriptive name such as URL. The label field is what will appear within EverWeb's inspector and tells the user what they must enter, in this case, a URL. And the default value is what will appear there when the user first adds this widget to their website. If we click OK, we'll see that our HTML text is replaced with that variable name, and the variable name is listed on the right-hand side so that we can use that if we want to in other areas of our HTML code. We also want the user to be able to customize the anchor text. So in this case, we'll highlight the anchor text. We'll click Create Control again. We'll select Text Field, enter in a unique variable name, enter in our label so the user knows what they need to enter, and we'll keep the default value the same. We click OK. The same thing happens. Our text is now replaced with the variable name. When we click OK, we'll see that our HTML code is in our list. And if we click controls, we'll see that the controls that we have made are, are listed for us to edit. If we click the little icon on the side, we'll get extra variables, or sorry, extra properties that we can edit for this control. In this case, control description, we might want to tell the user what they must enter. The other properties we'll go over in later videos, but for now, you can see what you can edit, and there's a description of what each property does at the bottom. If we want to test our widget, we can very easily save our widget to our EverWeb widget directory, which is our third-party widget directory within the application support folder. In this case, I've already made a EverWeb widget editor folder, and that will function as a category, and I'll save my my new anchor widget there. Now if I go to EverWeb and I select the widgets and then I select EverWeb widget editor, you'll see my, my anchor widget is there. I can simply drag and drop it onto my screen or onto my EverWeb design canvas and you'll see my controls are there for me to edit. So I can change the URL and I can change the anchor text. And you'll see it's now updated within EverWeb's design canvas. If I go and preview, 
you'll see that it's there.